A new survey has revealed a very dismal picture on the state of primary schools in Jharkhand, especially after the pandemic. The survey, which was done of 138 primary and upper primary schools in 16 districts of the state, shows, amongst other things, that not a single school had functional toilets, electricity and water supply. I'm talking about all three here. Two-thirds of the teachers said that their school did not have adequate funds for the midday meals. In a majority of schools, teachers felt that most of their students had actually forgotten how to read and write by the time the schools reopened in February of 2022. Very few schools had a pupil-teacher ratio below 30, which is prescribed under the Right to Education Act. And 20% of the schools had a single teacher. And nearly all the children in these single-teacher schools are Dalits or Adivasis. Well, this uh, survey was uh, conducted, uh, amongst others, it was prepared by economist John Drez and researcher Paran uh, Amitav. Uh, John Drez now joining us live on the program. Uh, Professor John Drez, thank you for being with us. Very, very sad to see the findings of this report. Uh, is some of this uh, a legacy from the pre-COVID times, which was actually exacerbated by the pandemic? Uh, yes, good question, uh, Nidhi. Uh, first of all, I think you have summarized some of the main findings very well. I'll just make quickly two uh, corrections. Uh, one is uh, you said 20% of the schools had a single teacher. That is true for primary and upper primary schools. Now, of course, in the upper primary schools, uh, single teachers are very rare because there are many children. If you look at the primary level, it is 35% of the schools that have a single teacher. This is absolutely extraordinary. All the more so as single teacher schools are plainly illegal. The Right to Education Act clearly says that every school should have at least two teachers. So that is one point. The other point is that one of the very important findings that you didn't mention is that the school attendance rates have really crashed. Uh, on the day of the survey, the pupil attendance rate was only 68% in the primary schools and 58% barely half in the upper primary school. And that brings me to your question, you know, is this a kind of chronic issue or is it uh, post-COVID? I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, I'm sure that in Jharkhand, even before COVID, the attendance rates were not uh, anywhere near 100% or even 90%. But I really don't think they could have been as low as 58%. So I think we are also seeing a dramatic fallout of the COVID crisis when the schools were closed for two years in Jharkhand. This is a world record, even worse than Uganda, 83 weeks. And they lost the habit of going to school during that period. They also forgot a lot of whatever little they had learned. I, I was that. going to come to that. That I, I think yeah. it's astounding that, you know, your report points out that most pupils had actually forgotten how to read and write by the times the schools reopened. Yes. And are you yes. concerned that this is not just limited to the 16 districts that you have covered in, in this report of Jharkhand, but that this could be perhaps something that we might be seeing in other parts of the country as well? It's certainly across Jharkhand, and I'm sure it's to varying extents in other parts of the country as well. I think it's a national crisis. Quite likely, Jharkhand is among the worst affected states, but I'm sure that most other states are also being affected uh, in to some extent. And what is really sad, certainly in Jharkhand, is that so little has been done to help these children who came back after two years having forgotten whatever little they had learned earlier and uh, now are basically struggling in a barely functional system. I think the, the we mentioned, we talked about the single teachers. This is actually the tip of the iceberg of dramatic teacher shortages in Jharkhand. I think you mentioned that only 20% of the upper primary schools in Jharkhand have a teacher pupil teacher ratio below 30 as prescribed by the Right to Education Act. So there are a drastic shortages of teachers and the single teacher schools is one aspect of that. Right. And that makes it, of course, very difficult to address this crisis. Well, Professor Tres, finally, has there been any response to from, from the Jharkhand government uh, to, to your report? We tried to reach out to them but didn't hear back. Have they said well, anything? <laughs> It's a little early because the report was released today. Uh, we will see. I mean, uh, so far, we have not been very successful in sensitizing the Jharkhand government to this issue. In fact, last year, after a similar survey, when we found that the children were in such a pathetic state, we had tried already around this time last year to persuade the Jharkhand government to initiate a big effort 
to help the children to increase the education budget, to start after school literacy classes, and none of that happened. So uh, it's difficult to be very hopeful, but of course, one has to keep trying. Professor Jean Dres, thank you very much for joining us on that important story, uh, one, what should actually make the front pages of every newspaper tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you very much for being with thank us. You, sir. Thank you, Thank you.